Hey everybody, it's Pastor Amy. We're going to continue on with our theme of subscribe now and learn about how Jesus wants us to follow him. Before we get started, let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for inviting us into a friendship with you. We welcome you in our hearts and our homes this morning and we pray for your message to teach us your story this morning of how we get to follow you. Amen. Our verse for the theme is John 4:16, where Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Did you know that videos on YouTube get viewed over 5 million times a day? The way that YouTubers get so many views is by having subscribers, which are like followers. Today's Bible story is about Jesus' very first subscribers. If Jesus had a YouTube channel, what do you think it would be called? Today we're going to do something brand new and have a guest star tell our Bible story from Mark 1 and Luke 5. So to tell our story today is Quinn. Hey guys, my name is Quinn and I'm here to tell you guys a Bible story. Once Jesus was preaching on a shore and the people wanted to hear the word of God better. So Jesus went over to two tied boats that were along the shore. Jesus climbed up one of the boats that was Simon's. He went over to Simon and said, put out a little from shore. Jesus used the boat as a way to preach for everyone to hear. After Jesus was done preaching, he said to Simon, let out your nets. Simon said, we have been fishing all night and we haven't caught a single thing, but if you want us to, we will. When they let out their nets, the nets overflowed with fish, and that the nets started to break. When Simon saw this, he fell at Jesus' feet and said, I am a sinner. But Jesus said, it is okay. From now on, you will be fishing for men and women. You can follow Jesus like the disciples did. You can subscribe to Jesus. That was so awesome, Quinn. Thank you so much for sharing. Jesus invited Simon into a life that was so much better than just being a fisherman. He didn't want Simon to live an ordinary life. He wanted to invite Simon into serving him. In that same way, we get to subscribe to Jesus. And when we do, we get to have all new opportunities and experiences because Jesus has awesome opportunities in store for you. Simon gave up fishing in order to follow Jesus. What do you think you might need to give up in order to follow Jesus? And how has Jesus already made your life extraordinary? Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for inviting us into this extraordinary life with you. Thank you for your friendship and the opportunities that you bring to us. Thank you that your plan for us is so much bigger than anything that we could ever achieve on our own. We love you, Lord, and we welcome you and all the opportunities that come with following you in our lives and our hearts this week. Amen. All right, guys, I'll see you for the craft. Hey guys, the supplies that you're going to need for your craft are two shades of yellow paper, orange paper, pink paper, white paper, and a pencil, a hole puncher, a dark marker, a glue stick, and one of these fasteners, which is called a brad. The first step is to cut out all your little pieces. I've included the template in case you need it, and you can print it off at home. If you don't have a printer, you can just draw your own duck. As soon as you've cut out all your shapes, then you're going to trace your hand on the other yellow piece of paper. Then you're going to cut out the outline of your hand. As 
So now I have all of my pieces cut out. If you get craft kits from me, you'll have these shapes on their right color paper. If you don't get craft sets from us and you'd like to, please just send us a message so I can know for next week. But I have included the link to this template so that you can cut these out and then trace them onto the right colors of paper. The next step is to make your little duck. First, you'll put the eye on. It only gets one eye because it's from the side view. And the beak. And you're going to put its legs on. I put one behind and one in front. And then, with your dark marker, you're going to write, I will follow Jesus, right on the center of your duck. The next step is to make your hand into the duck's wing. To do that, you're going to put it over what you just wrote. You're going to somehow make a hole. You might need your parents' help. Then you're going to put your brad right through that hole and then on the back side you open it up like that. So now you have your duck. When you raise the wing it says, I will follow Jesus. I hope you love the craft. Bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you love the video. Be sure to have your mom or dad like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, post pictures of your crafts in the comments. We'd love to see what you created. Have a great week. Bye.